All right, I guarantee this is something you have never seen a video on YouTube about ever. This is the first. You may see other videos about it, but I don't know. This is coming to me from a guy, Mikey, that I found on Facebook. This is to solve, well, maybe not solve, but you know I am big on shipping safety, not losing your item that you're shipping, right? I've done several videos, and I'll link my uh, shipping playlist up in the corner at the end. And I was scrolling through Facebook, and one of my buddies tagged me in a post for these. This is, and I, I, I normally don't make notes for my unboxings, but I did for this one. This is the SSMI, the Ship Safe Metal Insert. Okay, let me just grab one of these. I ordered five, and I think I'm going to have to zoom out. So you're going to see kind of the mess around the table here. But what does this resemble? This resembles the small flat rate shipping box. And that's what this is for. So we're going to just, I'll do another video because I have some, um, some knives to ship out. And I know the lighting gets kind of sucky on here. So what you do is you fold this up. This is a six-sided box that goes inside of a flat rate shipping box. Check this out. I mean, I, this is genius. Makes us all think, why did we not think of this ourselves before? Okay. Now it is reusable. All right. So now you have it here. And now I can probably zoom back to normal view. So you get your item is all packaged up in here, bubble wrapped, taped together inside of the metal box. And then you put it like this and you close up your small flat rate box. Now you can do it this way, I just did it. Or you can put it this way so that the the flap, if you will, is up here at the top. So you could put it all together and then stick your items in, seal this up, and then close the shipping box, right? Either which way. What it does is it prevents, we'll just do it real quick, right? I mean, why not? Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this. These are made out of aluminum. They were on back order. He just made them like literally last week. This is something that's brand new. It's a little tougher to get the uh, sides in. All right, so you close up the box and we'll just close it all the way up. Maybe I won't do a bigger video. We'll see, whatever. All right, we're just gonna close this up, okay? So now it's just a normal flat rate shipping box according to the world. Put all the tape on it you normally do. Do not scrimp on the tape. And I've done videos on how to tape it over there. Basically, you want to cover the entire thing in tape so that it floats, essentially, is the goal you're going for. But now, if somebody just tries to steal the package and open the box, they're not able to do it. And if they do... Let's say they do rip this thing open. Well, they can't just slide your knife, your watch, your collectible thing out because now it's inside this box. Now they're kind of stuck. They've got to take the whole package. And what we've seen recently is it'll just get sliced open on the side. They pull the item out and then they tape it back up and they still del get it delivered, right? Because... And I'm not blaming anybody, but sometimes it is somebody inside the post office. Not all the time, but it could be a 
porch pirate that's just taking the item out of the box. Like there's a lot of different scenarios how things get stolen. And this is not a cure. This is not an end-all be-all, but it is another option, okay? Um, I'm going to just try to pull this out, right? So it is reusable a few times. As you bend this open and closed, it is going to ultimately snap those off. Um, and I don't remember what gauge this is. Let me measure it really quick just so you guys can see um, what it is with the mic. Um, 0 0.030. So what is that, like 16 gauge? I don't know. 0 0.030. So it isn't super thick or anything like that. Um, it does have some, you know, that manufacturing oil. Now, Mikey just did tell me, because I just texted him before I did this unboxing. He goes, hey, thanks for doing a video, all that good stuff. He has a thousand of these being manufactured right now. And the new ones are going to be in steel. So they're even stronger than the aluminum ones. I think it's genius. And I think for me, it's not... And Oh, and I don't know what the steel ones are going to cost. Maybe he'll chime in in the comments or I'll find out and I'll put a pinned comment. <coughs> These aluminum ones that I bought were $9 each times the five that I bought because I wanted to obviously do one as like a tester and then have a couple to ship. Um, so it was like 60 bucks shipped because it did have to come in that medium sized box. So, you know, you're paying, you know, 13, $14 to ship a medium flat rate box. I think this could be a great option sometimes. Granted, you're going to spend $9 on the SSMI. You're going to spend $10.40 to ship. So it's like $19. You're in it, you're in it $20 to ship the box. Um, if it's a $2,000 knife, $20 ain't that bad. Um, if it's a $5,000, then $20 is even less bad. Now, at $5,000, me personally, I generally will do UPS or FedEx overnight early delivery. Ultimately, the less time that you have your package with the carrier, whether it's USPS, FedEx, DHL, it doesn't even matter the carrier. The time is your real ally. The quicker that you have, the less time they have it, the better. So that's why for real high-end stuff or three or four or five super expensive, you know, knives, three or four, let's say three or four $2,000 knives, I start to do overnight, okay? You can do overnight through the post office as well. So that is an option. Um... But this, I mean, you could combine this with a, an Apple AirTag. And I did a video talking about how, how to ship with an Apple AirTag. I don't know if the Apple AirTag's Bluetooth is going to go through the aluminum or the steel. I don't know that yet. I will do some testing and get back to you because I'm probably going to buy a couple AirTags for myself anyway. Um, but... I think this is really an ingenious option. And for me, when I first saw it on Facebook, I was like, how come I never thought about that? And it just, I think my point here is whether you buy these from Mikey and I'm, I'm going to put a, uh, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll figure out something in the description or hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and I, I can share Mikey's contact stuff or whatever. We'll figure out that. But if you're not going to buy this, maybe it's got you thinking of how can you be your own protector of your package? I don't know. 
I think it's cool. And then another thing that's kind of fun, I guess there's a question. If I'm going to ship this to somebody, do I tell them? Or do I just let them cuss me out as they're opening the box for the first time <laughs> to get their knife that I sold them or shipped them? I don't know. That's up to you. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Let me know how do you typically ship. Um, again, these are reusable, but only a few times. I don't know how long the laser cut uh, is going to last. But depending, I mean, you could certainly get two or three shipments out of this. For sure. And I think somebody in the Facebook group, it's the uh, the TAC Facebook group, the um, Ancient City Confidential group. Uh, somebody said, hey, we should like use one of those for the group and everybody kind of sign it as you ship it. Uh, and see how long it can go with different names all over it or something, which I think is cool. You could send something to and from um, Alex. We send a lot of stuff back and forth. Me and my buddy Anthony and me and my buddy Joseph send a lot of things back and forth. We could use the same one over and over. Even if, let's say, this top flap broke off, you're still five-sided. You're still helping deter theft. I don't know. I think it's just, I, I was blown away. I messaged him right away after he said he was sold out and said, Hey, how can I get on the list? Um, and literally, I don't know. I think, I think he made this announcement maybe a week ago and here it is in my hand already. So there you go. I've rambled long enough. Please, please go check out my shipping playlist. There's a bunch of tutorials there on, I actually go through and do a box where I ship it and I pack everything up and, and show you how I do it. I'd love to hear how you do it.